Hello friends, this is Jagbir Singh and today we are going to learn about pipe schedule, pipe bill of material, fitting bill of material and how we can find out what is the total length of the pipes in particular level or into entire project and how we can find out what would be the total cost of our entire pipes fittings so it can help us in estimating the uh, project cost in terms of piping if you are just are the contractor of the pipe uh, pipe work then you can find out what would be the estimated cost of your pipe work based on the size available uh, prices available in the market so it is going to be very interesting and interactive so before we move forward I just want to request you please like this video right now because it will help me to reach more people through YouTube algorithms so your one like helps me a lot so please do it and if you if if you have any views then you can leave a comment in the comment section and if you have question then I will try to answer those okay so now let's go to the project so this is my uh, plant room project which I uh, earlier shown you for the practice so uh, the situation right now with me is like I want uh, uh, I want to find out what would be the uh, total length of each pipe size for example if I have 65 mm size pipe available in my project then what would be the total length what would be the total length for 285 100 150 250 300 and so on and the same way what would be my uh, how many would be my uh, fittings based on my sizes based on my types so why we need those information so whenever we uh, whenever we have to uh, like go for the uh, pipe fabrication then we need to have a budget in mind so that budget will help us to like to be into the project limits and that can be find out only with the total exact number of the quantities of the pipe so quantity survey it, it is also part of quantity survey if we have exact quantities then we can find out the exact pricing as well so i will be giving you one example uh, which we are using so now in the pipe schedule so uh, let me make a new schedule i will be explaining you uh, so i'm going for new schedule so I'm going for pipe schedule okay so I what I want to have like I will be creating uh, I, I just want to show you how I created this one so I'm going for family type okay and then I'm going for schedule type on which uh, pipe schedule it is so so you can see schedule 40 carbon steel so then the size so don't uh, overall size and size so you always go for size and then go for segment so segment description is like pipe and it's all information like schedule 14 black steel ERW A53 so there are different different schedules so then go for the length okay then you will have a table like this and then go for so it will be essentially like this you can arrange them according to the convenience of yours so now you, a schedule topic is very detailed topic in Revit you can always increase and decrease all the all the fields you have on this side and you can bring anything or you can just select and bring it back so it will not be listed here okay so I am going for filters you can filter out like by the sizes so for example there are so many uh, pipes uh, sizes available but at the moment you are only uh, doing the procurement only of one particular size let's say I am going for size equals to 300 or let's say it will be giving a list which which are available in this schedule so I am going for 300 or let's say okay 
so it will be giving me type victolic ips t what is schedule standard weight size is 300 and this is your schedule so why this schedule is uh, a segment description is important i will show you with example so this is the length so what you can do now is like you can export this to an excel so let me show you how you can export to an excel but i already have this 300 already exported uh, so into an excel so this is that excel so this is my 300 so i have done all these calculations so i will show you how i did this but first let's let's export some other size for example i am going for filter again and i am going for size let's say 200 okay so you see there are lots of 200 pipes and uh, pipes so what i will do now is I, I will go for file export and go for report schedule so i'm going for pipe schedule dia 200 so you will see it is exporting as dot txt file but i what i have is excel so i need to do something about it let me show you how you can bring that txt file into excel so now export title all these information are standard i'm keeping okay so now it's been exported so now what i will do is like i will create open a uh, new excel here and in that excel i will go open uh, new let's say open and then uh, i will go for desktop and room pipe schedules and you have to see all files uh, sorry it is not showing me print room yeah so this is my 200 so just hit ok next next finish so you have to do some adjustment like this so you i hope you are good with the excel and you can just like play with them okay so so now all the segments are of different different length so what i will do i need a total of this length so what i will do is like i will go for total here and then i will hit auto sum and i will go with and enter so this is my total length it is i guess 114 meters so because this is my into mm so 114 meters so uh, as uh, all these pipes are victolic so victolic are the pipe suppliers so they have a huge document in pdf format for all their prices for all their fittings couplings pipe accessories pipe types pipe whatever so let me show you one so you will be uh, provided with this sort of document you see it is a 197 page document with each item they have like this is a grooved ips pipe coupling it is a style 07 so if what is the size outer dia inner dia and if you want it into painted format or if you want only the galvanized painted coupling with silicone and all those things you will have a list of the price 118 305 and spare parts what would be the spare parts so there will be a 
document like this by which you you can have a reference to so let's say this is my total length so I need to find out the total price okay so total price would be let's say uh, my pipe is let's say two dollar a meter this is completely irrelevant to whatever the price is I'm just making a guess for example so it would be equal to and uh, this into let's say two so this would be your uh, let's say total sorry so this would be your total uh, let's say uh, price of your 200 mm dia victolic pipe the same way let me give you exact example uh, I have created a schedule for my fittings so my pipe fittings uh, i have created a schedule let's say dia 300 and i have a you you just focus on the name ips rigid coupling style 07 which exactly is style 07 coupling so you can find out with the diameter which is your price and you can then calculate it and then you can do the procurement and this way at the end you will be having a price figure in your mind while you will be doing the project bidding for the installation part uh, and your billing will accordingly so this this is a uh, like a standard way of doing the pricing of the uh, of any component so the same way next time I will be making a video on how to calculate your uh, ducting prices for example if you are having uh, different different types of duct let's say your rectangular duct your fire rated duct all are having different different installation uh, prices or manufacturing prices or like fabrication prices so how you can do a schedule for your duct price work so if you have like if you uh, like learned something with this video then you can help me out with your like on the video and please leave a comment in the comment section uh, your feedback or your appreciation whatever it is and if there is any question i will try to answer it as soon as i see into the comment section so this is jagbeer singh signing off thank you